Yes, I'm Dan Hong Kwon. Now I'm going to present my assignment, which is quantitative risk assessment. And in this assignment, in this task, uh, we need to choose two techniques uh, that relevant to the quantitative risk assessments. The first one that I choose is decision tree. So decision tree is a technique for making decision in the present or uncertainty and can be applied to many different project management situations. So what we can see from this picture is a possible solution and an uncertainty and decision and also the outcome. So for the characteristic of this decision tree is they have a decision knot in a rectangular shape and a chance knot in a circle shape. So how to implement the this one decision tree analysis is by four steps, which is list all the first one is list all the decision and prepare a decision tree for the process management situation, and the second one is assign the probability of occurrence for all the risks, and third one is assign the impact of risk as a monetary value value, and the fourth one is calculate the expected monetary value for each decision path. So in this decision tree, actually is evaluated by the expected monetary value. So it's uh, outcome that we'll talk about uh, the money and also the probability will be discussed, will be evaluated through this decision tree. So actually it's require a lot of data uh, by using this decision tree. But somehow the strength is they can reduce risk much more because it's very clearly step back the probability of the every risk in every area. So it's very uh, suitable to know that for this assignment which is the overhead bridge with escalator because uh, we can clearly know that which area have a risk then how we can to reduce how we can reduce it and the opportunity is by reducing the risk we can re reduce the cost also but somehow when talk about the calculation probability we consider the human factors it's because the human factor will affect the inaccurate calculation, maybe the data collation as well. So for the second, the technique, the second technique that I choose is the fault tree analysis. So fault tree analysis is a diagrammatic method to evaluate the probability of accident and also the logic block diagram that displays the step of a system uh, have a top event in terms of the step of a component basic event. So they have a uh, main simple main symbol in a fault tree analysis so actually they have a all and basic event internal event conditional event and developed event yeah and some more and the most important one is the all and the n the these two main symbol using in this uh, fault tree analysis and the fault tree analysis actually evaluated by the Boolean algebra is uh, through the equation that were used and also they have uh, rules the Boolean algebra rules that we need to follow so throughout this uh, two diagram that we can see from the end actually is uh, the equation so that is a time means a time b the probability a need time probability in so that we all can get the probability p however by using all, all simple, we know that uh, it's a uh, quite com complicated. But uh, by using uh, this Boolean algebra, we can really know that the probability of the risk. So the strength to using this is they have a uh, can clearly state that the safety and uh, is very reliable to understand how the system can fail and also can determine the event rate for a safety accident. So for the overhead bridge, and we can use this fault tree to know that the safety, uh, how can the escalator be fail and also how to determine the rate for every safety accident that will be, that will be happen in the overhead bridge. But then they have a witness also is 
require more data to do means need to collect more data in order to do this analysis and they have opportunity which is can minimize and optimize the resources and the last one is also considered as a human factor uh, because it's, it affects the inaccurate calculation when thought about probability yeah so yes so this is a uh, both uh, technique that I choose for these assignments so thank you so much